Welcome to Tyler Vision, Intense TV. I'm your host, Robert Lewis Tyler First, and today we have a very special episode of Tyler Vision, Intense TV talk show live. Today we're going to have on from the Chambers Brothers, original member Lester Chambers, and also his son is going to be here, Dre Chambers, as well, right here on the set today, an icon. He is the Prince of Funk. The Duke of Funk, he's the Prince of Punk, the Duke of Funk, the King of Crunk, the Mayor of Debonair, the Chairman of the Board, the Lion of Lebanon, the Master of Disaster, he's the Ayatollah Rock and Roller, Lester Chambers. Hey. Hey, Lester, welcome to the show. Well, thank you, Mr. I'm glad you could make it here. I'm so glad. All the way from Pataluma? Yes, and a long way. How was the traffic? It was okay? no traffic at all. We just cruised and talked the whole way. We had a nice ride. Nice. Nice, yeah. Beautiful. Yeah. And this is your son over here, my Dre son. Chambers. My yes. son. Welcome Dre. to the show, Dre. Peace and love. Peace and love. Yeah. One love. yeah. Mm -hmm. And uh, today, I know that you're doing, I know that you have some new projects out right. now uh, with some animation uh, yes. to help the environment, to yeah. educate children, right. and, and voiceover as the grandfather, right? Is that correct? Or, as well? Yeah, that's Anyone? good. Yeah, yes. we could call it all of that. Right? <laughs> Yeah, man. And um, so, I know you. I know you went to the dentist mm. <laughs> the other day. So are you feeling a little better? Yeah, I'm. I'm. I'm on my way up. It's getting there. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You're asking because yeah. I know you guys are, are, have some projects and and get some irons in the fire. Got that some we things do. going. That we do. New album coming out. Yeah, maybe. Always. Yeah. Uh, yeah, we work on that every day. Hopefully, so even if it's just on the phone. In conversation is work going on. Nice. Yeah. And and I know you don't really want to talk about this, but when and when I was 12 years old, like 1968, I was really impressed by that song. <laughs> I'm gonna tell you the Chambers Brothers that time yeah. has come today. I know you don't want to talk about this. So that's fine. <laughs> well, but it really impressed me. <laughs> well, you. you know, it's it's still knocking on doors yeah, today. That, that still, summer I was yeah. like, this is this is this is this is a banger right here, straight out the box. <laughs> well, right? time will forever be coming. Right? And it will always be time for time. That was, yeah. it was the perfect song yeah. for that summer. Yeah. I remember it well. And uh, so tell me about some of your uh, uh, new projects coming out well, nowadays. We've just been in the studio uh, trying to keep up with the times and with all of the problems going on in the world, and especially here in America, with the uh, school systems and the shootings and the stuff like that. So right. we just released a song that was written by Wilbur Harrison. You remember him? The old Let's Work Together. Right. And uh, hopefully, our... hopefully we can get it to catch on and become a, a model for the kids. Right. Knowing that to get anything done, we still and should always know that we have to work together. Yeah, and our hearts go out to the victims. Yes. But on the other hand, we need to change things and, yes. and well, work together. Well, if they keep protesting and requesting the things that they are, especially with the no gun violence and the laws should be changed before all of the kids were killed, and there's going to be more if it doesn't get changed soon. It's just horrible what's happening. Yeah, copycat. Uh, copycat. Kids well, we don't do even know thing. if it's copycat. I think it's gotten to the point to where <coughs> commonplace. Commonplace. Yeah, because it's expected. you know like <coughs> this last kid. He didn't do anything to copy anybody. Right. <coughs> he went in there purposely to get rid of people that had abused his intelligence, his whole being ever since he started school there. Right. And even the school teachers were uh, on his case mm. and not being nice to him. So he, he said it on TV, I wanted to punish the people that had not been nice to me. And he did. 
picked on or something. Yeah, he felt picked on it. And he retaliated. Mm. So that's not being a copycat. That's like, right. stop, stop bullying me. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> but when the leader of our country is probably the biggest bully we ever had in our lifetime, you know, every, the kids that are doing the bullying think it's a great way to be. Well, the president gets away with it, so can I. Right. You know. So we, uh, hopefully they'll hear that music that and, and understand that music We're, is about making you happy and communicating the spirit of love and joy. And bring attention and to And bring that. attention and, in, in that way. Yeah. And, and, and you guys are both like... Um, no drugs, no alcohol, no, drugs. no cigarettes, no no dope, no 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 booze, caffeine, no no no, no, no vices. You guys, you guys are vegetarians, right? Yes. Yeah. Both of you. I, that's what, I'm not a vegetarian. I had I had, I had wow. meat for breakfast, but you know, <laughs> other than that, I, I agree with you know. Yeah. Vitamins, well, we, healthy nutrients. You yes. Know, clean in the clean mind. Clean living water. Yeah. You know, clear. And, and just clear your clarity of mind, both yes. of you. Just from your lifestyles, you can just, as a parent, you know, it yes. just shines. So. Yes. Thank yeah, you well, we try to, we're trying to, <clears throat> to show this to the world. By an example. By an and, example, and, you know. And, and <clears throat> a great example you <clears throat> both are as, yes. as well. Thank you. And I'm, <clears throat> thank God I'm 78 years old and I'm help, I've been through hell to get here, but I'm here. And Thank I God. feel like a brand new man. Well, it's an honor to have you on the, on the, in the studios here in yes, the Napa sir. Valley, Cali, as yes, well. Sir. Now, I, I heard that um, you had had went to, got a bad contract in a dark restaurant with fine print, and they said sign the, and it was like a bad a deal, right? Well, a bad record deal, right, to begin with. You see, contract. Um, was, when people prey on you know, young musicians. Talented we were people, young gifted. then. We were young. And all we could think of was having this record, this contract. We got a deal. And very few people were getting deals, especially with Columbia Records. And <clears throat> when we were, were with Columbia Records, there were like one other black person on the label. Oh, wow. You know, and... So that was number one, not supposed to happen. But thank God for the wonderful man that didn't see that that way, John Hammond Sr. And he was the president now, but he was on his way out of office. But he said, I want to do something outstanding that means something to the world and hopefully something can be uh, done with it and about it, and he signed us to Columbia Records. <clears throat> and he, like I said, his time was short lived after that as a president. And Clive Davis took over, and he took over. Kind of think it's sort of like the Trump thing, you know? He took over the record business, not just Columbia. He was, took over the whole thing and just. Everybody had to come by him uh, to get it done or to see it done. And his first meeting with, with us was to tell us <clears throat> how we would never, ever be successful on that label. And he would make sure, hmm. you know, but we just smiled and said, you know, we had already performed to too many people to hear that and know that to be true. Right. Because you can't just literally tell people you can't go see that. Right. You can't hear that. And he told us that the last thing he would ever agree to would be four black men standing on the stage singing Time Has Come Today with a white drummer in the background keeping the rhythm. Hmm. You know, well, he couldn't stop it because we had already 
probably played every college in America. And trust me, that is the way out of any situation. When it comes to music, you have to go through the college. Right. Those are the people that have time to listen. They have time to appreciate and love what you do. And they need that at home at night in their dormitory rooms. You could hear time all over the world. Oh, yeah. Time! And over and over, so many times, lawyers and doctors and professors have come to us and said, dude, when I was in college, time has come today was our theme. When we heard that in the morning, it was played at the dormitory. That was the first thing we heard, tick tock, tick tock. Right? <laughs> so we knew it was time to get up and go do our thing. And the DJs loved it too, because now they, they had to play it because it was, it had made it that, to that point to where the DJs couldn't say no. So they thanked us because for the first time, they could, a group had considered them, they thought, and said, you gave us time to get up, walk around, take a break, take a smoke off the cigarette, right. come back, have a drink of water, a cup bathroom. of coffee, go to the bathroom, <laughs> and come back and still <clears throat> hear some time. You know, thank you. So it, it had its... Uh, I still play it today as a DJ. I, I play it tonight. <laughs> I'm going to tell you... But and now run to the bathroom. <laughs> yeah, and it's a beautiful thing, you know. But it, it opened the door for a, a lot of possibilities. Oh, yeah. That are still, you know, still today really governed by the type, fact that time is so important. And it brought the attention to people how important time is. Mm-hmm. You know, and if you don't do what you got to do while you got time to do it, you ain't going to get it done. Right. And the and, uh, first time I heard it was here in Napa, up here in Soda Canyon. I was okay. about 12 years old. I heard on the radio, I thought, it's amazing. So, you know, time has come today. Yeah. Time. And, you know, that probably helped, you know, end the Vietnam War yeah. and many other things. You know, the time has come, you, you know, know, right? You, if you think about it, right, something. To go back to... People took what a stand. It did. The, the vets, you don't know how many times people have come to me and said, I was in Vietnam and I heard time has come today. Right. And I said, for what? For time for you to get up and get your uh, together. Right. And do what you- Get your you, shit together. Get <laughs> you, yeah, I didn't want to <laughs> say that. <laughs> We're, it's time it's okay. for you to get up and get it this together. This is your show. Oh, <laughs> no, no, no. Yeah. But the people are listening and watching, so we I'll have to for read. you. <laughs> well, yeah, you do that. It's your show. When time it they got their shit together. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And they did. They you know. did. Yeah, yeah, yeah. People united. And people and, united. And banded up, you know. And now if we can get them to hear, let's work together in the same way they heard time has come today, not that I want time has come today to not be. I want it to even be more so. Right. But we need to work together. The world needs to come together and come to an agreement, which is real simple. We have to work together. Most definitely. There's no way around the fact that we have to work together. And, and I see, like, no color lines or borders. When I heard it on the radio, I thought these guys are white rock and roll group. You know, when I heard it on the radio, I thought, you know, at first well, pick, there's no, there's no color line, no border lines. It's, like, united, you know. That was the intention. Right. Because everybody had the ears. You know, they had to hear it. But you know what you like speaking you of the sound great. thinking that it was a white group. I did. <laughs> oh, I thought when the first album, rock, the first album <laughs> cover came out, you're gonna blow, this is gonna blow your mind. But Clive Davis actually put four white guys. Just to sell albums, right? On so. the front of this album cover. That bastard. Yes, <laughs> like... he did. 
four white guys that, on the front of our <laughs> album cover and, and was releasing that, it. You don't know if that hurt or hindered or helped or any, I mean, well, if you tell the we, truth, right? I we mean, just weren't going to stand for it. No. We, were, we didn't stand for it. And then we became the group that talks back and demands. So we were never, to be honest with you, I don't think Columbia Records doing our entire time on the label, I don't even think they spent as much as a thousand dollars in promotion on the Man. Chambers Brothers. But they didn't have to because we had already promoted ourselves. Right. We had been everywhere but abroad, mm -hmm. you know. And when we went abroad, none of the groups over there, not a one of the groups would work with us. Really? None of them. So we said, okay, we got this tour booked. We booked the tour thinking any one of these groups from Europe is going to want to work with us. Yeah. And we were hoping to get the Bee Gees. Right. But they flat out right said no. Kidding? No. The Beatles couldn't. It was in their contract that they couldn't. Right. And none of the female artists would. Hmm. None of the male artists would. So we said, what have they not ever seen in Europe that they might like? So we thought about it. We studied the you know, whole thing. And we realized that they didn't have cartoons over there. Right. That's Harvey Skills from <laughs> Disco Baby. Oh, oh Disco oh. Baby. Yeah, man. Uh, hey, Harvey. Uh, we're doing a TV show right now. I'll call you back, okay? It's the Chambers Brothers interview. Sorry. Bye. Love your song, Disco Lady, too. <laughs> Went platinum, right? <laughs> he calls me back, right? So we, turn that off. so we took... Uh, Sorry. I apologize. No problem. So we took the uh, Roadrunner cartoon. Oh, yeah, yeah. I and love that one. Yeah. So From the 60s. We. Beep, beep. So anyway, uh, at first, when at... We sold out everywhere we went, and thanks to the Roadrunner for being a big help. That's fantastic. Because now we got all of these young people, old people, that has never seen cartoons. They don't allow new, that. New fans. <laughs> they didn't allow that over there. That's pretty wild. They, you know, they have better time to, to spend. And, and that cartoon, anybody could understand it because there was oh. no talking. It was just. Yeah. Jokes, Me. right? In a ver visual. <laughs> it's just visual comedy. Hey, you couldn't. It, they were there 30 they minutes early. They were, they, were in the, they were in the auditoriums 30 minutes early <laughs> to see the Roadrunners. Fantastic. It was incredible. So we uh, didn't nope. need to be the, the uh, British groups. No language barriers with the Roadrunners. No. no. <laughs> Us. But it was clear that we would never go back. Right. As the Chambers Brothers, uh, I went a couple of times with John Lee Hooker. Right. Which was extremely well accepted. I, the blues is, that's the heavyweight over there. Like rock and roll is the heavyweight over here. Mm -hmm. Well, they brought rock and roll over here. And we took the blues over there. Right. But... It's not an even trade, but it's a good one, you know. Right, exactly. <laughs> yeah. He's played here in town a few times, uh, yeah. Stanley Hooker, and, yeah. in, and in the Empress Theater, too, I think, Yeah. Uh, not too long ago. No, John Lee Hooker is dead. Oh, he died? Oh, years ago. Yeah. Another blues artist. Yeah, yeah. yeah I know. I, yeah. The Empress Theater, is, that's a great place. Yeah, Empress Theater and the Uptown Theater here in yeah, Napa. Yeah. I forget which, and the Blue Note. The Blue Note. Mm -hmm. I forget which artist it was. Yeah. I thought he was still alive. No, he died about, oh, I don't know how many years now. It's been a, quite a few. Really? Okay. Yep. We got about 10 minutes left, so we got time. Okay, you say something. Well, you gentlemen were, were, were <laughs> at it then. Uh, uh, you know. Yeah. Tell them about the record label. and Okay. Stuff, you know. Well, yeah. um, Pop and I have a new label. 
called Stompin' Mud Records. Stompin' Mud. Stompin' Mud Records. And um, yeah, we're in the process of releasing a bunch of new music. We have an incredible website at lesterchambers.com. 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 Chambers.com. That's that's the that's the ticket. One word. Yep. And you can go to the site at any time. There's lots of cool stuff on there. Lots of great music. Um, we're in the process of opening up the store, so there'll be lots of great memorabilia and stuff coming up, and um, great videos. And yeah, it was really, really, really nice. So, but um, yeah, the primary thing as of late has been been working with Pop. You know, he's a national treasure and an icon, so it's just been incredible. He and I working together, working on this new music together, and all of the wonderful things we've got coming up soon. His future's looking bright again. It's he's going. definitely an icon, that's for yeah. sure. He's a legend, and in, in, that's for sure. Oh, yeah. Well, I give, I give all, the, all, of the, all of the credit to God. All the glory to God. All the glory well. to God. <laughs> Thank you, God. Yes, it is. You know, been, you've been with me, stuck by me, you know. Uh, one of the one of the great things we have coming up is we're going to do a. Uh, I did a cooking show. He and I did for a. Uh, it's called Soul Foods, Rhythm and Blues. Nice. Yeah, and we're look. We're going to be down. looking. We're going to be looking for a location uh, to do that, and one of my dreams has al I've always been to have a, a, a restaurant, a cafe, just for dinner, Not, no breakfast, no lunch, just dinner, but a heck of a dinner every night, Right. and then a blues show. That'd be perfect. So mm -hmm. foods, rhythm and blues, we're looking to do that. In, in, a, in a cooking show for yeah, to we, be televised. Yeah, we already so. did the uh, pilot. Pilot. Yeah. Right, uh, the prototype. Yeah, we, yeah. Mm -hmm. Maybe we can do some, shoot some at these wineries. We got 500 wineries up well, in Long Valley. Ooh. You know, yeah. something. And Who knows? Got a couple guys that might want to jump on board. Well, you never we're, know. we're looking to team up and collaborate. We're you know? looking to do this, you know, and I think it's going to be a great thing we're gonna you know people when you say soul foods they they look at it like you're gonna be cooking ham hocks and fried chicken and you know ribs and all that's gonna be it but it, you know soul foods can be anything you eat anything that feeds the soul anything that feeds the, the soul good vegetarian food black eyed peas black eyed peas is you know without the meat is vegetarian colored Collard greens without the meat is right. vegetarian. Or cabbage, or whatever it's, you know. Grits. Grits. Without big part of it. <laughs> big part of All it. All healthy stuff. You know, it's great. It's making me hungry. <laughs> <laughs> you know, yeah. so so in the respect of using the name, the word, the title, Soul Foods, Rhythm and Blues, you could, eat, you could have anything in there you want, you know. Well, you know, um, we did have um, some awards, uh, and, and uh, we did have some awards coming up, and the nominations were um, Trey Chambers and Lester Chambers. And envelope, please, to we'll see who, who won this week. <laughs> ah, okay. Oh, it looks like Lester Chambers win, win the <laughs> Tammy Awards, the Television <laughs> Award for Musician of the Month. Yo, so <laughs> that's why we call it Tammy Awards. Tammy right? Awards. So, so we got a oh. um, a new a new Tammy Award presentation for for oh you. Oh my God, it's kind of heavy, but yeah. it's solid. Hey, look at that. And and uh, solid as that. a rock there. Yeah. Solid as a rock. <laughs> and, and we got like maybe four more minutes. We'll do some shout outs. You guys want to do any closing Great. thoughts? Well, you, I wanted to give you a little bit of a um, yeah, of course. Wow. Of heads up. You know, for the last few years, aside from producing records full time, which is what I do, um, I've been the music supervisor and producer for a new kids cartoon that's coming to television soon, hopefully. And what's the name of called it? Called Pacha's Pajamas. 
Say again? Pachas pajamas. Pachas pajamas. Yeah, and it's, a, it's about a little girl whose plants and animals on her magical pajamas take her into a dream where she goes into what they call a nature festival. And she goes into the festival and learns about being a superhero for nature. And she comes out of the dream and goes all over the universe teaching children about their relationship to the planet and to nature. It's an incredible story. The educational one about the environment yes. to help children mm -hmm. learn, Big teach right. them about of the environment course. of the earth, of the planet Earth. Most deaf, the actor, like rapper. He's, like the idea? Yeah. Uh, most deaf, the actor, most rapper, deaf. is the narrator. Okay, most um, deaf's on board. Yep. Yeah, yeah. Pop is the Papa Bear. Nice. Cheech from Cheech and Chong is the mushroom. Oh, snap. Yeah. Yep. Mm -hmm. Talib That's Kweli, appropriate. Yeah. Talib Kweli from, uh, from Black Star. He right. is the butterfly. And then we have 13 superstar kids from all over the globe hey, rapping kids. and singing and dancing. Beautiful. Um, we have a double album that we've won a lot of awards for. Yes. And uh, an incredible book that's out that's got what's called augmented, um, augmented reality that comes with it, where you can take the, your phone or your device and put it over the book. And up onto your phone or device comes the entire story in full animation. Beautiful. So it, yeah, so it's incredible. So that's, that's uh, incredible. One of the, another thing that we're working on. <coughs> We'll go ahead and close out the show. All also, right. uh, just talked to Danny Thomas from Confunction out of Vallejo. And happy birthday. It's his birthday today. Say happy hey, birthday. Happy, happy birthday. birthday. And yeah. this show. Also, Johnny Hudson will be coming on in uh, the Grand Arena on June 23rd. Snoop Dogg will be there on June 2nd. I'll be down in that area in L.A. last week of June as well as uh, Harvey Scales, who just, I forgot to turn my phone off, who just called us from the hit. Disco Lady for his platinum. Album. Yeah. So we went, went ahead and said that. And I also want to say thanks for, I didn't know that the guy that married me at the Evangelist Temple in Vallejo, that the, the Freddie Stewart, the, the pastor that married me, I didn't know that he, that was Sly and the Family Stone's brother, right? Yeah. So I didn't know. And guitar player. And from, guitar player. Yeah. Yeah, I didn't know that he was, I thought this guy's a great guitar player. I went to that church for about a year and he never said anything. He said, I said, well, you know, so he, he did, he performed the, and his daughter did the keyboards at the wedding, you know, da, 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 you know, so. He's a great singer, so I'm, I'm the, I'm the, also, as I was going to tell you, I'm the, uh, the, 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 you know, Napa Valley's newest uh, eligible bachelor is back on the market again. Oh, okay. So. I got you. <laughs> <laughs> if you got any call ins. Yeah. So anyway, I want to say, uh, guests of the television show stay at Pataluma per Transportation, provided by Automobile. And thanks to our guest, Lester Chambers, right here, an icon. Always glad to have you in the studio. We'll have to do this again real soon. Dre Chambers, I'm going to see you pretty quick. Oh, and, and you also have a studio down in, in Jack London Square as well. I do, yes. And thanks to our sponsor, Sal, the flower guy, brings these flowers in every week faithfully here in motion. Doc's Trophy Shop. Brings in our music awards for this is for Jay Black. He was on Johnny, Ronnie Hudson's album, right? Uh -huh. And uh, Emmy Lou's Diner. So God bless you and yours. And pretty much we're out here till uh, next time, America. Freddy's dead, you heard. Right through the heart, and then he said his last words. Me copy was in, was that?